Rugger's brave. Rugger is the best. He loves new adventures and tackling a new quest. He's Rugger. Last week on Rugger Tales, Rugger bees wandering inside a cave. Mountain men evil, when will they behave? No Alice our heroes have found yet. But wait! She's baking a batch of her special sleep cakes. That's where we pick up the story. Wandering through the dark and stinky caves, the rugger bees continued their search for Alice. Oh, I'm scared, said Webb. These caves are really scary. And they smell really bad, added Rugger. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Beans for lunch, <laughs> said William. I wonder what all these tunnels are for. What's up, my little... Hey, what are you guys doing in all these war tunnels? War? Who would make a tunnel for a war? Asked Webb. Well, a long time ago, even before Grandad was born, there was a massive war. And the people of this land built these guns and tunnels in case they had unwelcome visitors. Well, that's not very polite, said Webb. You're meant to offer visitors tea and bickies. They weren't friendly visitors, Webb. It's just like how the mountain men stole Alice, except the visitors were going to steal the whole country. Not just one person. These tunnels were built to stop them. Wow, William said thoughtfully. War, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again, yo. Absolutely nothing, said the rugger bears together. Exactly. Why can't those four mountain men just give peace a chance? All you need is love, and I believe that the children are the future. That's all I got. I'm out. And with that, the hooded knight was gone to work on his own guns. Oh, wait a minute, Rugger yelled. We, we don't know where to go next. Oh no, Wim trembled. What are we gonna do? Alice will be scared, upset and lonely. We need to find her quick. Meanwhile, back at the mountain men of Mulu hideout, while Alice's rescuers were stuck pondering their predicament, Alice had made her captors a delicious sleepy cake and they fell into a deep sleep. Oh, finally, thought Alice. I thought they'd never fall asleep. She raced to the Hamiltron and quickly saw her beloved friends. If only she could talk to them. Then she remembered. If she held the Hamiltron in both hands and yelled, they might be able to hear her, depending on which way the wind was blowing and how many people were on the internet. Even though she risked waking the mountain men, it was worth a try. Raka! William! Webb! She yelled into the Hamiltron. Can you hear me? What was that? Asked Raka. Was that Alice? It sure did sound like Alice, said Webb. Is that you, Alice? William bellowed back. Yes, it's me. And don't worry, I'm okay. Uh, bored, but okay. I can see you. See us? asked Rugger. Uh, are you close by? Can you see me? All right, how many fingers am I holding up? You're holding up three fingers. But I'm talking into the Hamilton. It, it's like a crystal ball. When are you going to come and rescue me? When we know where you are, called Rugger. Can you remember how you got there? Well... I was blindfolded, but I remember a, a bridge and a tunnel, and then it got really cold. Oh, oh yeah, it's been pouring with rain ever since I got here. Does it ever stop raining in this place? No, it doesn't, young lady, and you are in a lot of trouble. Ruggabees, if you ever wish to see your friend Alice again, turn back now or suffer the consequences. Don't worry about me, Rugger. Barry's just a gas bag full of hot air. Silence, Ruggerby! <laughs> Parties? <clears throat> Rugger! Heed my words or pay the price. <laughs> what are the Ruggerbys going to do now? Will they listen to Barry or Alice? And why doesn't everybody just give peace a chance? He's Rugger!